the next award, we looked around the institution that is Oregon, and we, I come from a tribe, I'm not gonna tell you and give you all the details, but we have a, a tribe, a tribe nation here in Oregon. And we felt uh, that they needed a voice, and we normally don't endorse or support any candidate, but when we heard that Tonya Satchel was running for a space in Oregon legislature, the board got together and said, because of some exigencies and because of some, because of uh, necessity and, and the moral justification for representation, we need to support uh, someone who came from that tribe, has no voice in Salem. So we roll our sleeve and call some few folk and, and the health of annoyance and eye of some people, we, we supported her and she got elected. Today in the legislature, the Native Americans, even though not as much, has a voice. So give a round of applause. <laughs> Let me be very clear, we are bipartisan. We don't care of your politics. We uh, don't really care of where you come from. But when you are a good human and you represent the best of our human spirit, we will shine light on you. Give that a round of applause. <laughs> we are not flitching a need from that. We are not going back. We don't lean on grant somebody's grant to run this organization. We lean on the grace of our board and sweat of, of, of our volunteers. So Tanya, you are represent the best of, of our communities. So these are many more of your accomplishment you've done. We want to recognize you as one of our leaders. Please come forward and receive your award. I'm short too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I was actually uh, sort of thinking about this more of that community service award and just because community service, I mean, I feel like that's, that's what we do, right? If we're not in service of our community and the people that we serve, then what are we doing? Why would we go there? When I ran for the legislature, Thank you very much, Promise. One of the very first people that I met with and actually who, who pushed a little bit and did tell me he was getting in trouble for it a little bit. But when I first ran for the legislature, we had no idea. We actually didn't think there had ever been a native person to serve in the Oregon legislature. Turns out there was one. I found out there was one native person prior to me. Her name was Jackie Taylor. She was citizen Potawatomi and she served in the legislature in the mid 90s and represented the Astoria area. That makes me only the second Native American to ever serve in the Oregon legislature. And that makes Anessa Hartman the third. That should say something to us, not just about that yay, we have a third person, a third Native person in the Oregon legislature now, but that we have been here this whole time. and that our voices had not been heard and that we had not been able to push in the way that was necessary for the tribes to actually advance in the direction that they wanted to. And they've done some amazing work on their own. But the fact that we are able to actually stand in, that, in, in those buildings, in those big halls, and remind people we are here and we are not going anywhere. Thank you.